Good evening guys, I hope we are all doing very well. Now, welcome back, of course, to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This is actually gonna be a random little vlog. I am just preparing my pre-workout meal for tonight. So as you can see, I've got it in my nice little bowl here that Sarah got me for Christmas. It says, always hungry, twice on it, which I can guarantee um, is actually a, a well-known true fact about myself. I've actually got chicken and rice. I know I just showed you the bowl, never actually showed you what's in it, so I've got chicken and rice in there. Um, I have got around 220 grams of chicken in there and I've got 250 grams of rice. So that I've just been prepared like so easily like literally that took me around literally 10 minutes to prepare all is in it is a packet of microwave rice and 220 grams of chicken breast as easy as that I then have as you guys know because I don't put it in the same little container all the time I always put it in separate we've got around 100 grams of broccoli in here so that's actually one thing guys that I did actually want to cover with you it's just how simple it is to prepare food because as a coach myself this is one question that I'm forever getting asked like I always obviously have clients coming to me and just want to either do a fit your macros or they want to obviously have a meal plan which is absolutely great like seeing them want to actually move forward with something like a meal plan is awesome because something like a meal plan is going to allow your body to respond a whole lot more efficiently over something like if it fits your macros because you can essentially fit anything at all into your macros now I could say a meal plan is just if it fits your macros because it's essentially just food choices fit within your macros and you're right it is exactly that but the biggest thing we have to take on board on something like if it fits your macros is we have to remember that with food choices food choices are going to dictate how your body responds now you can choose anything at all and fit it into your macros so guys if you haven't noticed already i've literally just shoved you right in a cupboard because this shoulder was getting so sore and i'm actually on shoulders tonight which i'm going to take you guys through but without waffling on too much more what i wanted to come on here and quickly cover was just the part of obviously if it fits your macros versus a meal plan they are essentially the exact same things like there's not really that much difference a meal plan is just fitting obviously they specific food choices that you're not going to deviate away from into your macros in which obviously if you move across and focus on if it fits your macros it just means that you can chop and change your food choices on a daily basis which personally from my perspective when I move out my off season I have variety within my diet so that's why you'll see me sometimes eating chicken and rice, chicken and potato, chicken and sweet potato, I'll eat cereal, chicken and bagels, I'll eat turkey rashers and bagels, I will eat the full lot and again that is just because I'm obviously experienced enough now to know that I can chop and change things whenever I want and at the end of the day I could even wake up in the morning and not have a single clue what I'm eating for the rest of the day but still manage to fit it into my macros. Now not everybody's like that so this is where I would recommend structure and a little bit of management into if it fits your macros so of course if you're following that approach which it does the job guys it does work you just have to remain accountable you just need to adhere to the plan and you will progress like I, I promise you that you will progress and um, it's always going to come down to how consistent you are with absolutely anything but what I would recommend like something that I do it's just Think about maybe eight or 10 meals that you like. That could even include things like cereal meals. Um, so of course, try and maybe keep maybe one or two to the, the things that are maybe not as nutritionally dense as what you will benefit a lot more off of. So again, try and chop and change between maybe eight and 10 meals over the course of the full week. Fit that into maybe four to five meals over the course of each day. And obviously allow that to make sure that you know you can always fit them into your macros. So of course, get the good old weighing scales out. Again, these, these just seem to be everybody's worst enemy. A little bit of management of of what you are taking in is always going to be what's going to benefit you and actually allow you to progress and the more you manage what you're in control of the easier things become because you're then guaranteed to progress and at the end of the day like you can see like you're not always guaranteed to make these sort of crazy improvements well at the end of the day if you're consistent you're in control of absolutely everything you do and that be things like your training your sleeping all the small variables outside of the nutrition and then nutrition and again like supplements say for example if you are into obviously building muscle you're a serious trainer and you have moved to the side of incorporating supplements into it which again is not for everybody like I've said already then you are guaranteed to make improvements whether that be fat loss or muscle building or maintenance you, you're, you're guaranteed to improve um, but at the end of the day guys that's the, the most simple thing ever and like I've said already and um, the most simple part of all this if you want to maintain a very good body composition in which my goal throughout the off season phase isn't to get super fat and out of shape um, of course I know that body fat is going to come on um, but to, to allow me to stay in the best shape possible with that additional little bit of body fat it's just opting for real nutritionally dense food sources 
food choices and the best of meals, making sure I'm taking in obviously my veggies, my greens, making sure my digestive system's on point, keeping hydrated and of course the supplement side of things, benefit and aid and supplement my diet just as a whole as well. But of course guys, any other questions regarding anything like this, I know this is obviously a YouTube video and not many people ask questions on these sort of things, um, but any other questions regarding anything at all, don't hesitate to drop obviously a comment down below, but I am still yet to get my supplements ready obviously for my session tonight. I've got my pre-workout meal to go in right now, like I've said we are on shoulders, so I'll take you guys through that as well, um, but we are of course back into Ultraflex Durham. It is a good run back into the gym now as well, which of course is absolutely phenomenal because although America was, was awesome, like it was incredible and it was an absolute dream come true and it was an opportunity that not a single person could 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 bypass um, and I am literally desperate to get back to Destination Dallas. Although it was phenomenal, we were constantly all over the place. So now, um, as you guys will know me, I work a lot better off of routine, which again is something else that if you don't have routine out there and you're trying to progress forward as well, guys, you need routine. Routine is absolutely everything. Um, but for myself anyway, routine is definitely everything. I work a lot better, a lot more efficient off of a routine. So again, um, being back in Ultraflex, getting back in the equipment that my body was used to for a long period of time, I mean this full year, um, it's phenomenal. And we don't actually have anything coming up hopefully over the, the next kind of few weeks anyway um, unless I've got something coming up that I don't know about again I'll keep you updated on that um, but it'll be good to get a good run back in Ultraflex Durham and then of course we can um, get back as strong as possible on of course all of the equipment but apart from that guys I'm just rambling on now um, I'm absolutely starving so I don't know why I'm rambling on I'm just keeping you guys waiting of course if you enjoy this video even if you don't enjoy the video, drop the video a like. Um, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Drop loads of comments down below. Any questions you've got, of course, drop them down below. Um, turn on post notifications because, of course, it does help the channel a lot. And let's get on with this night. Right, guys, so first on the supplement front, we're going in with interest. So I'm going to make this for both me and Sarah tonight, but I'll make mine first. So, of course, you can see exactly what I'm going to be taking in. Um, we are going to be going in with three scoops of carb up, which, of course, is my introduction. So realistically speaking, that is just carbohydrates in there. Um, we're going to be going with three scoops of this we're also going to be going with two scoops of my no code which of course is the essential amino acid First, i've already just said it but level up v2 which is the brand new performance based um supplement in terms of obviously what you will gain a lot of energy from but what you will also notice a reduction in doms so we are going to go in with one scoop of that alone some train smart so again anybody that doesn't know train smart is actually um a focus based product there's no caffeine whatsoever in this so of course you don't need to um, worry about what time you take this. I know um, a lot of you stem heads or people who are into just very heavily, um, what you could say, ingredient panelled crazy pre-workouts um, that you are going to get a lot off of and you are going to feel a lot from um, that you obviously have to watch what time of the day you take them at. You can take Train Smart at any time of the day guys so obviously it is approaching, I don't even know what time it says on my watch there, but it's approaching 6.45 so 18.45 it's obviously quarter to 7 at night and I'm going to be taking in Train Smart for shoulders tonight. Um, so I mean on the supplement front that is really it guys. Intra workout of course no code, level up and carb up. Pre-workout, we've got Train Smart, and I always seem to forget, I always forget. Pre-workout as well, um, we do have Ride On, which is my pump formula. So again, guys, um, an overall lifestyle supplement as well, along with my basic that I do take every single day. Um, it's around five minutes to the gym, so I will just take my pre-workout here. Um, I like to usually just take it between kind of five and ten minutes prior to me going to the session. I don't like taking it um, half an hour before because I just feel as if it kicks in too much, and then I go absolutely mental on the way to the gym. No more waffling, guys. It's shoulder night. I will catch up with you when we get to the gym. Good. 
Good. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Let me drop that. Okay. Come on, then. Mm. Two sets, dumbbell press done. Um, as you've seen, a drop set at the first set tonight rather than second set. Usually I have a drop set at the second set, um, but first set just felt too good and even when I dropped the 50s, they, they still felt as if I had like a little more there. And although I never had a little more there to maybe press the heavier weight, there was still a little more energy there to add into say 30s and the 15s. By the time I got to 15s, it was just a case of pumping them out as much as um, but they felt incredible 40s back off there, I think 15 or 16 again no sleeves, no wraps or anything um, just put them up and try and go for as many as sometimes there's 20 plus there, sometimes there's 15 plus there to be honest sometimes there's even just 10 plus there um, but dumbbells are now done, we can now move to second press of the session um, Atlantis shoulder press and then we'll move on to the, the fluff work but so far so good I'll go for Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. And again. Boom. It was going so well and I was like, oh my god, it's going to be 12 here And I got on the 11th one I think I paused on the 12th one Rebraced, came down 11th rep and I was like, oh shit That was a heavy one That was a good set, I'm happy with that Most I took on this I believe is 4 and a 15 for I think 5 reps So that was 6 weeks ago give or take So to take 4 plates for 11 Gives me that kind of clarification that four and a half is there for six to eight, four and a fifteen, maybe a hard five reps, but we don't need to take that today. We've done a lot of work in dumbbells, so happy enough with that. Um, I'll do a back off and then we'll just move on and we'll go progressively, just pyramid stuff up the way from now. No top and back off sets, as you'll see, it'll just be pyramided sets up the way. Uh, minimum 10, 12 reps now. Again, I like to incorporate these higher volume shoulder days in because. My shoulders need a lot of work. Um, they still look like they're underdeveloped, so I'm still not happy enough with them. I'm not walking about with boulders. Um, so until I'm walking about with massive boulders, and to that day I'll probably not, still not be satisfied, um, we're gonna just do high volume days, low volume days, heavy days, light days. That's a, that's a joke, we're not gonna do any light days, but you get the point.
Pressing done, side delt work second, and then rear delt work last. Side race machine, we'll do a dumbbell side race, potentially a cable side race, and then we'll finish in rear delts. We'll not do any extra front delt work tonight, purely just down the fact of with us doing our main couple of presses, and with me gonna train shoulders a second time this week, we'll do the extra front delt work in that session, so that's where you'll see me maybe doing things like upright rows, front raises, in which we'll probably not fill them, but um, regardless, we're not going to do any extra front raise or front delt work. We'll just stay on the sides, extra volume on them, and then rear delts because I'm actually on back tomorrow and I'm choosing to do traps tomorrow with back rather than rear delts with back. So that's your final explanation of this session because I cannot be arsed speaking anymore throughout the session. Um, and I'm not here to lecture you either. So you can enjoy how I train for the rest of the session and I'll catch up with you when we get home. And guys, as always, after a productive session, um, again, no complaints in tonight's shoulder session, but as always, um, this goes in straight away, immediately post-workout, which is my rapid recovery from Unrivaled Nutrition, which um, my Train Smart is exactly from. So anybody that knows, um, or anybody that's new to the channel, obviously, you will um, probably not know that my supplements only come from Unrivaled Nutrition and um, HR Labs. Now, of course, this is my rapid recovery. So this is my post-workout shake, which contains my 50 grams fast-acting carbohydrates, and of course, 25 grams fast-acting proteins as well. So this goes in immediately post workout and then what I usually do is wait 30 to 40 minutes on my post workout meal but that's going to be all from today's video guys so of course I hope that you did enjoy this random little vlog if you did enjoy it then of course please do not forget to drop the video a like for me subscribe to the channel if you're new because we're still on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I'll catch up with you all in the next video